So let's go ahead with this first one here. We have an example of a table. And this is correct as is. If we, in other words, if we look at this table, can we find anything really big as far as a problem is concerned? And what we have here is a deck here. We have decked headings here and mood before something, after something, physical activity. We've got an indentation here on the stub that looks very good. And we've got our two columns here. So that kind of makes sense. We've got our note here and it's italicized with a, with a period at the end. We have a little A here and a little B here, superscripts. And A is up in here and B is up in here. And so we can see what does B mean? B means dancers dance to rock and roll music. What does A mean? Golfers rode around the course in golf carts. So we don't, we don't want to put that information inside the table because it makes the table too big. So that's looking good. That looks like a good example. Let's go ahead and look at some more examples here. Before the children were given the test weights to judge, 20 children were asked to move 10 blocks that weighed one kilogram each, and 20 children were asked to move 10 blocks that weighed four kilograms each. What's our problem here? It's a little bit hard to see, but what we've got here is this little mistake here. Kilograms, kilograms. Kilograms is not going to be plural with an S here because we just keep it with kilograms. So that's a little bit of the abbreviation issue. If you write those inside of a table or you're writing inside your body about a table, you need to be careful of that. Here's another example. Pounds of weight loss was recorded as the dependent variable and hours spent with the phobic object was the independent variable. And of course, what we've done here is the abbreviation pounds. So you may be talking about pounds that are inside your table, but you cannot abbreviate at the beginning. You have to write it out at the beginning of the sentence. Remember, we covered that in a previous unit. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some example table title examples. And here is a very long title. Uh, a table listing the mean length of time it took participants to write a research report after they received no training, lecture, mastery, testing, or exercise and had written either a either zero, one, or two prior to reports. Oh man, that is basically here the person is trying to explain everything that's inside that table. That's a that's everything that's inside that table. What would be a better way to write that title? Mean time. Why mean? Because inside here these numbers are means. To write research report, that means what did they do? What well, was the task? It was to write the research report. And what was the variable that was manipulated? It looks like it was different kinds of training. So the different groups had different training and the different groups had different experience. So these are like variables, right? So this is like variable X. This is like variable Y. And then the mean time is the measurements that's inside the table. Hmm. That's pretty straightforward. That's a nice way to help me quickly see what is this table about. That's the key point. How do you get from long title to short title. The best way I find to do that is just go ahead and write it long to start with, but then one by one cut the words. Cut this word. Maybe I can cut this word. Maybe I can cut this word. Well, you know, I don't need to write report. So you keep cutting it down and down until you get much, much shorter, and I think you'll end up with something 